You're listening to Where You Live with Gene and Tony. Welcome back to Where You Live with Gene and Tony. We're broadcasting from the Natural Green Lawn and Landscape Studios. We're brought to you by Extreme Exteriors and American Family Insurance, the Kim Bennett Agency. If you're just joining us, uh, we're talking about a editorial that uh, was posted in Colorado Springs and reprinted in the Washington Times, where a gentleman was talking about and asking the question, have we lost our capacity for self-government? And he said, all the ills that we see in politics today can is uh, no different on the national scene than it is right in your very own Homeowners mm. Association. That's right. That's a, a, a good point, and he makes it well. Yes, and so we were talking, Tony, about... Uh, this issue of people who don't want to step up and serve. Yeah. Uh, and I can certainly understand part of that uh, is ingrained because of a misconception that people get put into their minds from the moment that they begin looking at homes that are in a homeowners association. They hear uh, it's maintenance free living, but, and they say, oh, the realtor says, hey, you know what? You don't have to worry about anything. Everything's taken care of for you. And you go, I like everything being taken care of sure. for you. But that's a misnomer. Everything isn't taken well, care of and for you. The other piece of that is to get those services, you're willingly giving up some of your individual rights as a property owner, aren't you? That's yes. why they call it covenants and restrictions. It's promises you're making to each other and restrictions about what you can do in that homeowners association. Yeah. So so in exchange for living in this community where we share expenses, I don't get to paint my house any color that occurs to me. I don't get to plant yard gnomes yeah. and flamingos and that kind of thing. I mean, there's you do give up some of your individual real estate rights. Exactly. For and, those services. And, and that's even, that's true in any city or uh, well, municipality true. too. That's true. If you want to have uh, more more freedom with what you can do on your property with uh, old cars that can be <laughs> just parked there and used for parts. Livestock. No, nobody has a problem when that's a farm outside there of the go. city. That's right. right. That's right. But if when you it want comes... to buy 120 acres in the middle of Montana, you can probably do just about anything just, you want. Oh, as many gnomes as you <laughs> care to have, bro. That's right. <laughs> but in this idea here, we're talking about uh, people then who uh, take a look at the situation where you do get one or two people who do step up. They do serve. And because there's only one or two that decided to even show up, Mm -hmm. those people now have the nerve to call and point the finger and say, you're a dictator when yeah. there isn't anybody else yeah. that's willing to give input here. It's the board's job to uphold and enforce the governing documents, the covenants and restrictions. It is their job. And in fact, boards have been sued by homeowners because they didn't uphold the covenants and restrictions. Oh, isn't, isn't that so true? For yeah. every one person who says, I am upset because you didn't allow me to do this, if the board did, there's going to be 15 or 20 who are going to be angry that it, it was allowed. That they didn't uphold the rule. That's let's, right. Let's talk about this because another aspect that people in homeowner associations will do quite a bit is uh, they'll say, well, if we really can't get a lot of people that will govern, they'll ask the question, hey, I've got an idea. Can't we just hire a management company and let them do everything for us? Yep. What do you say? What, what do you say? <laughs> well, we know that it's the board's responsibility to operate the community, and that is stated in the governing documents. That's how the community was formed. The board cannot do anything to give up their responsibility. They can hire help. They can hire management, professional management, to help them in their duties. They can hire a lawn care company to help with that. Uh, they can hire, you know, the snowplower to help mm -hmm. with that. But they are not giving up their responsibility by hiring a pro property management company. That's they're right. Just, they're just directing that management company to do some of the legwork. Yes. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the way that it is described, that relationship in the state statute is that it is a managing agent, mm -hmm. an agent of the owner, mm -hmm. which means that all we are 
is uh, someone representing. Mm -hmm. So we don't come up with our own ideas. We don't spend the money as if it were our money. It (laughs) is under the direction and obedience of those that are in charge. Let's extrapolate that a little bit. That would be like saying the city council in the city of Minneapolis really doesn't have to meet. If they don't want that burden, even though they were the elected officials... They can just hand it over to the city manager and let them make all the decisions. We we know that sounds ridiculous. Yeah. We want our elected officials to be making our decisions because then we've exercised our our vote and we've exercised our choice as to who we want representing us. And that was and that was a part of what our founding fathers understood. That's right. They never saw uh, the idea of anybody being running for Congress or for the Senate. For, of it being a lifetime job. No, that's right. You know, that's it, very was, right. it was a time for, it's my turn now to step up and to represent the people and in my serve. state. They saw it as service. Exactly. They saw it as service. You were providing a public service and you took your turn uh, to to serve the entire community, not serve your own power issues. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. You know, one of, one of the... A great story that I remember from uh, right after the Revolutionary War, after we won, uh, and people were looking at uh, everything saying, we need to mm-hmm. elect now our first president. Mm-hmm. And I think just about everybody knew who that was going to be. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, George Washington was the man of the hour. And, sure. And they knew that he was going to do that. And he had... He had uh, uh, worked so diligently, so valiantly mm-hmm. in the efforts of helping uh, us to win uh, the war against Great Britain mm-hmm. that uh, people were saying, well, shouldn't we just uh, really, out of respect to him, just kind of say, we'll let you be the leader for life? We should name him king. Didn't they even oh, yeah, think he they, should be royalty? Exactly. Yeah, they we should they name said, him king well, of let's the new give country. the title king. That's and right. they said, wouldn't that be the right thing to do out of respect? For him. It should be a lifetime post. Yes. And it was great. It was Benjamin Franklin who said, no, he said, the best title we can give is the title that we all that we all have, and that was Mr. So it was Mr. President. Mm, not his royal president, no, his royal highness. Because his... he, cause he said when he is in that post as president, he is stepping down to serve. Mm. When he is done with his service, he'll be stepping up to be with the, the with the rest. We of We have society. so lost track of that, haven't we? Isn't that we have so lost that perspective? Not only the the populace, but our elected officials have lost that perspective. Yes, and and I and the end of this uh, article, this editorial uh, piece here on uh, you know, have we lost our capacity for self government? The writer goes on to say, political activists are fond of saying, government goes to those who show up. And that's what we see in homeowners associations. That's right. And, uh, you know, I I think that uh, uh, it is uh, well put. He uh, ends with a quote from Thomas Jefferson. He says, uh, when the people fear the government, there is tyranny. When the government fears the people, there is Mm. liberty. Mm. And uh, that goes along with the idea that those who are going to be in a position of authority understand that their authority is one that has been given to them on granted for on a temporary basis but as citizens he also goes on to say if we want to reform our government we have to reform ourselves we have to step up we have to make our vote count and we a homeowners association is a good place to start i i agree well i tell you what why don't we take a moment to wrap uh things up right now we've got one more segment so don't go away we've got uh more of where you live with gene and tony after these messages